Hello everybody, and welcome back to a new series. I love Pokemon games to such a degree, and I'm really happy to be bringing this new game to my channel. So sit down, enjoy, and let's see how long it takes us to beat the Elite Four have to excuse me, the buttons I have set up on my keyboard are not intuitive. Yawn, huh? What? Huh? Is it already that late? Oh no, I overslept. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. I'm gonna have to change the tech speed. My name is Professor Oak, but everyone calls me the Pokemon uh, Professor. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. It's got Meryl. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. Sometimes, at times we play together, and at time, other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Now, why don't you tell me a little about yourself? Are you a boy, or are you a girl? Oh, Professor Oak, you really never can tell, can you? Well, I am a boy. I'm sure you guys can tell. Yes, I am a boy, Professor. You tell me your name. Alright, how many characters... Oh, okay. We're gonna have to go with... Just Ginger. That's not how you spell ginger. Yes, my name is Ginger. Are you ready? The very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Fun experiences, difficult experiences, there's so much waiting for you. Dreams, adventure, let's go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. I am undecided right now if I want to make this a Nuzlocke. We'll see if that's what I decide to happen. It might, it might not, uh, but I don't think first episode will determine whether or not it is. Hi Ginger, you're finally awake. Your friend Lyra was just here. She's not my friend, come on. She was playing hide and seek with her Meryl. Oh, I almost forgot, our acquaintance, Professor Elm, was looking for you. Of course he was. He said he had a favor to ask of you. Sounds about right. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. By the way, you have everything you need to go out? Here, use this bag to carry things. This is your trainer card. Okay, here you can save and record your progress. Nice. These are also rather helpful. Options, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. First, uh, if you'll excuse me. Just do the options right now. Tech speed, fast, battle scene on. Uh, we'll do shift. Sound stereo, we like that. I don't need to hold it in one hand. So we'll just keep it as is for button mode. What do we want for windows? Sure. I don't want to spend too, many, too much time in the options. Can't wait for running shoes. Oh, it's the mural. Ah, uh, of course it's Iris. Okay. Very uneventful. <laughs> oh, there's that. Just... There's the rival, I would say. Hi, Ginger. I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk with Pokemon. Just like your friend Lyra does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon. But walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. 
could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve, so I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon outside of its Pokeball to see if this brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people? The device over there has some Pokemon you can choose from. Professor Elm. Oh, hey, I got an email. Uh, hmm. Uh-uh. Okay. Hey, listen, I have an acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. Probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. You can go in our place, right? Can we count on you? You can choose one of the Pokemon over there. Done. Alright, I thought a little while about what Pokemon I was going to pick. I thought, you know, maybe Totodile, maybe Chikorita. I felt, I've used Totodile a lot. Chikorita is just so disadvantaged in the first two gyms, but I love Cyndaquil. Fire types have a special place in my heart. So he's the one I'm going to have to pick. Come here, little buddy. Give a nickname to the Cyndaquil you received? Oh, man. I gotta give him a nickname, right? Uh... Pfft. Let's see, it's Cyndaquil, male, red... Uh... I'm just gonna go the first thing that came to my mind. Yes, it's bad. It's Racer. I don't know why. Cyndaquils are fast, right? Sure they are. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? You can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal it with this machine. So easy to use, just check the PT on my deck. This Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. This house is past Cherry Grove City. Go north a little past Cherry Grove City. I'm counting on you, Ginger. I'm excited to get running shoes. Ginger, I want you to have these to help you with your task. Obtain the potions. Ginger, put the potions in the medicine pocket. Pokemon are weak in the beginning. Don't hesitate to use a potion if you think yours is in danger. I won't. Oh man, there's a lot of text. Ginger, so you picked the Cyndaquil? That's a cute Pokemon you have. When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya. Yeah, here, Meryl. I am not my fire type. Oh, Ginger! That's a cute Pokemon you have. Professor Elm must have given it to you. Oh, well, Professor Elm has a task for you, you say? What kind of task? I see, that sounds a little difficult. But when someone makes that kind of request of you, it must be important. Oh, that's right, I completely forgot. Your Pokegear came right back from the repair shop. Here you go. Nice. The Pokegear, or Pokemon Gear, or Pokegear, as it's often called, is what trainers should have. Guess what? You can use Pokegear to make a phone call, too. Do you remember how? Yes. Just power the poker gear and touch the telephone button, okay? The names of people you can call are automatically registered. Just select one to one to give him or her a call. Well, I can't believe it's so easy to make a phone call. I can. We do live in a world with speed dial. I could probably even just go... Okay, Google, call so-and-so. Wait, one second. You're gonna give me a Pokédex, aren't you? Completely forgot about this. Here, take my number. Okay, not what I thought. 
I'll call you if anything comes up. When I was a kid, I played so much of the second generation. Never had access to a Game Boy Advance or a Game Boy SP, so playing Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Silver on my Game Boy Color was as good as it got. All oh, back in the day. <laughs> now I'm starting to feel real old. Uh, so, Sentret, nothing major. Easily beat. First battle, very successful. Of course, it was a Sentret. Another battle, okay, alrighty. Let's do this, and it's Pidgey. I like Pidgeys. Pidgeys are cool. Not the strongest, though. We just finished this battle up. You missed the tackle. Isn't that pretty much, like... Literally ramming your body into somebody. I think it'd be very hard to miss a tackle. That's just me speaking. It's just me speaking my mind. An opinion, if you will. Something forbidden on the internet. Uh, I'm just gonna... Heal up my Cyndaquil real quick. Because Pokemon are weak in the beginning, remember. That's nice. I better get into at least one more Pokemon battle, otherwise I'm gonna feel like I completely wasted that potion. Here we go. Give me some levels. Sentret, okay. I'm not even sure what I would like my first caught Pokemon to be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think on that. Sentret easily taken down, first level up. Let's see what kind of level he's getting. Uh, one speed, uh, two attack, defense, max HP, very nice. Smoke screen, probably not gonna be using that. Almost at all. It's not a great move. Another potion. Placing the one I used up is good. A Rattata. Not gonna use a Rattata. Although, have you seen the spoiler for Alola Rattata? He's on two legs. And then the Alolan Radicate. So excited for Pokemon Sun and Moon. Mainly one of the reasons why I'm going to play through this game again. Okay. Uh, good thing I didn't. Or. No, I don't think I want to do a Nuzlocke. So there was there's a glitch I'm gonna call it that I saw for heart gold, soul silver, diamond and pearl too maybe. I'm not sure what all games it affected, but it essentially brought your chances of a shiny Pokemon up a drastic amount. And all you had to do, have a cute charm Pokemon in your party. Well, you had to lead with it. But, aside from that, there's 
almost shiny Pokemon left and right. And because it's a glitch and you're not cheating the shinies, it's actually... It's actually a practically legit method of getting Pokemon. I was pretty astonished when I saw it. Like, I thought it was amazing that you could get so many shiny Pokemon. Although, if you do want to do it 100% legit, it does take a little while to do. A long while, and you have to be extremely lucky. You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay, everyone is a rookie trainer at some point. If you'd like, I can teach you a few things. Okay, then follow me. Oof. Old man can move. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that you weren't wearing the running shoes. I tried to go as slow as possible. I tried to keep him up. This is a Pokemon Center that heal your Pokemon in no time at all. You'll be relying on them a lot, so you better learn about them. This is a Pokemon Mart. They sell Pokeballs for catching wild Pokemon. And other useful items. They don't catch the useful items in the Pokeball, just to be clear. Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling the, their Pokemon there. If you go a little further, you'll see Mr. Pokemon's house. This is the sea, as you can see. Some Pokemon are found only in water. Here, it's my house. If you're ever keeping up with me, I'll give you my running shoes. They're still warm. Got you, then. I don't worry. These are brand new. Jenny received the running shoes from the guide gent. Instructions read, touch the sprint button on the touch screen to sprint. It also says, hold the B button down to sprint. I'm just gonna turn this on so that I am always running. Because, oh my god, is this game so long if you don't run? Yes, please restore my tired Pokemon. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. Thank you. Come back anytime. Alright guys. I do think I am going to end it here. This video is also a little long. Already a little long. But if you enjoyed the episode, let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like or even subscribe. Until next time, take care.